Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com. Today's VBA tip is on how to list all the files in a folder. So what do I mean by that? Well, basically, we've got a folder here, and it's got subfolders, and it's got files in it. Let's have a look at the subfolder. It's got bitmaps and a text file. I want to convert this into a list in Excel. So there's the full file path, there's the file name, size, and last modified. And if we find two files with the same name, same size, and modified at the same time, well, that really says to me that that's a duplicate. And, um, you know, I've been copying files all over the place, so maybe, uh, maybe I can clean up my hard drive and save some space. So let's see this in action. I'll just uh, clear this area and show you how it works. Click that. There we go, lightning fast, you've got all the files in the folder. If you want to follow along with this tip, all you need to do is go to uh, excelexperts.com and search the site for list files in a folder and you'll get to this. you also get access to other free Excel, VBA and finance training videos. And you can download the spreadsheet, read the uh, article and get access to the source code. So go back to here. We right click on the button, assign macro edit. So here's our code. The first thing we do is to dim I row. So what we want to do is loop down, loop through each of the files in the folder and their subfolders, and then list them here. So every time we find a file, we want to go into the next row. So that's what I'm doing with dimming iRO. The reason I dim it outside of these subroutines is so that I can share iRO in between the two subroutines. i just means it's, an, it's normally an integer. In this case, it actually should be a long. But hey, so let's step through. List files. So I set iRO to 11. That just means start here. And... I say list my files, range C7 and range C8. So I'm listing files from this folder and I'm including subfolders because that's true. If I don't want to include subfolders, I put that on false. I can change this to any folder I like. Don't forget to have the backslash at the end. So list my files takes as an input the source path and whether to include subfolders. So in this case, true. And I'm inputting C test folder, which is this thing here, this. Let's step through again. So I create an object. This object is a scripting file system object. How you get that is to add a reference. So you go in the VBA editor, you go tools, references, and you add a reference to Microsoft Scripting Runtime. That gives you access to these objects that allow you to manipulate your file system. So assuming that we've done that, let's go back here. So I create this file system object, and then I create a folder, and then I say for each file in my source folder dot files, set the column to be two which is this column here and then every time I step through I want to increase the column so that I put the next thing there on the same row the next thing there next thing there bum 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 and then I want to increase the row for the next file so all I'm doing is I'm looping through the files and then once I've looped through one source I ask if I'm including subfolders and if I am including subfolders, I want to loop through each subfolder and call list my files again. So that actually recalls itself. So it gets it gets caught in in a loop and it will continue going until it's looped through all the subfolders of all the subfolders. So let's see that in action. Boom 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 boom. We finish the subfolders because there's no more subfolder in any of that and then we exit and finish. So that's how to do it. You can then sort this by file
file name, file size and date modified and see if you've got any duplicates and you can see the full file path. You've been listening to XLExperts.com.